Tonight we're doing an unboxing and first look of the Cabela 7.5 inch heavy duty food slicer. Uh, it's HD, uh, it says heavy duty from Cabela's. We got this on a Black Friday sale. So it was about $69 on the sale. First off, looking in it, we get a copy of the owner's manual. I did open this already, obviously. There's a French version. I went ahead and took out of this, left the English run, and we get a dust cover, storage case if you will, uh, that folds out and sits on top of the unit. So let me get a stand set up and we'll get this out of the box. Alright, we've gotten out of the box, got the styrofoam out. We'll take off these plastic bags, plastic coverings. There's one on the cord as well. And there is a piece of cardboard back here for the blade. That we'll gently take out of there. And nothing included, just a protective cover it looks like. We'll get this off and we'll look into how to take that blade off and how to get this thing cleaned up. One thing I noticed right as I was moving things around is there is this blade cover that uh, slides over the blade and it is tucked up here on that metal piece. So just be aware that's there as well. It might be good to hang on to to put back on the blade uh, when it's in storage. Alright so I took a look at the directions here about how to disassemble the slicer. This is definitely not a how-to but I'm just following along with the directions here. Uh, first off we're going to take this tab, push it to the right and this bar will pivot up and we'll be able to slide the, the table off. Take it and slide right off the edge. And then the blade, you can see in there we have press and open with an arrow to the right. We'll push in the middle until the little uh, middle part pokes up. And we rotate until it is uh, the 12 and 6 o'clock or perpendicular to the tabletop or ground. Now the blade comes right off. Now be aware of that grease on the drive there. We want to make sure we keep that. Uh, it's, it can be important to make sure things stay lubricated and don't wear out early. So we're going to get this thing all washed up and uh, we'll hook it back up together. We'll see how it goes. We've got things cleaned up here. Took them in the kitchen, spraying them off with some Dawn. Uh, got a rag wet with some dish soap wiped off. Uh, the surfaces that are going to touch the food here. Uh, we're going to try to put this back together one-handed. <laughs> we'll see how well this works. We might have to switch it off. One thing I will say is when cleaning this blade, water likes to collect down in here and in that groove where um, the entire system spins uh, on that socket or sprocket. So that is something to keep an eye on as well. Uh, make sure things are really dry. Just rotate until it stops and clicks. We will take the cutting sled here. See if I can get this with one hand. Yep, sure I can. I'm going to slide that all the way back. Push that down. And back in. Slide it over and then the adjustment there. And uh, there we have it. Now, I will say, while I was doing this, I learned the bottom, the feet are actually suction cups. I thought that was a really nice touch. That way, it's not going to go anywhere while you're using it. And the other thing I saw here is that the, the adjustment dial. I'm not sure what P stands for, but otherwise these numbers are for millimeters. Um, I saw that based on the box, it says maximum cutting thickness one inch or 25.4 millimeters. This is the largest, the largest setting is at 25. So this looks like it's in millimeters. So if we take it down to 12 and a half or so, there's a half inch slice. So what we're going to try to do here is I got some 
um, deli meat in a roast vacuum seal package and we will uh, get that out and we'll try it in a few slices. All right, so I grabbed some of this Boar's Head Deli Dinner Oven Gold Roasted Turkey Breast. It says coated with seasonings there. It's just a small one, uh, just a few ounces worth. Uh, but this is good to test this out. In all fairness, I have actually never used a deli slicer, so we're all gonna learn this together about how this works. Uh, I think what I'm gonna do here, uh, as we talked about, the numbers are in millimeters. Um, American, so I use inches. We know 25.4 millimeters is one inch according to the box. So we know 12, say 12 and a half is a half inch. So I want to back it way down here. I want it to be sort of lunch meat size. Um, that would be a quarter of an inch. Maybe let's go down yeah, roughly to there. We'll see how it goes. So I'm going to load up the meat here. Into the sled. Um, I think I'll go this way. See, that'll give you plenty of room to slide, it looks like. And I suspect these first couple cuts are not going to be super great. As you can see, it doesn't quite sit flat up against there anyway, so we're going to end up cutting off a few, a few pieces uh, to flatten it out. Actually, now that I'm looking at this, it's going to be a little bit thick still, so I'm going to back this off. Um, the knobs are, or the notch is right there at four. Might feel a little bit better. We're gonna back it down. Mm. Back it down to three. And we'll see how that goes. So like I said, I've never actually done this before with any deli slicer, so we're all gonna learn together. Let's find out. Okay, so that is entirely too thick, in my opinion, at least, uh, for lunch meat. I would want that to be half that size, if I can get it to focus. There we go. Uh, in my opinion, now this might be uh, quite satisfactory for somebody else. For me, I want it to be about half that. So I'm going to turn it, I had it at about three. I'm going to turn it way down to one and a half. Um, and we'll see if that does it for us. Now, I was pushing forward uh, with some moderate pressure, uh, pushing down on the on the cut here. And then honestly, pushing it forward is very smooth, uh, very simple. It is a little bit noisy. It sounds like it is spinning faster than it is. I don't know how it comes across in the camera. Uh, I guess you can't see the blade at all. Uh, but it is spinning uh, well enough, and we'll cut a few more slices here and see how it goes. So I noticed something that I had seen in the reviews is that the bottom edge gets torn up a little bit there at the bottom. So I'm going to do a couple things. I am going to take this and turn this over. Oh yeah, you can see it there. I'm going to take this, turn this over. And I'm actually going to turn this down to one. Um, I'm going to turn it down to zero actually. Uh, there's a P setting and then a zero setting. I'm not really sure what P is for. It doesn't say. Um, but zero looks like it has just the tiniest bit of room there. So we're going to try on zero. See what happens.
much better. Oops. That's much better to me for a deli slice. So there we have the Cabela's 7.5 inch heavy duty food slicer. Works out pretty well. I'm going to have to dial in the specifics here for the thickness. And that's just something I'm off to learn to practice. But it looks like it'll do lunch meat slices, uh, thicker slices, and it says it goes up to an inch. Like we talked about again using this uh, Deli Dinners Oven Gold Roasted Turkey Breast here from Boar's Head. Um, we'll see how it goes with, uh, we'll do some cheeses. Uh, and then I'd like to do some shaved beef on this as well for Philly cheesesteak. Maybe do this with chicken as well. Uh, do a Philly chicken. Uh, that's always good. Do some buffalo chicken. That type of thing. But the Cabela's 7 and a half inch heavy duty food slicer. Brief overview at first use. Looks like it'll do pretty well.